I read an article today that said Joe Biden is readying. Are you ready for this? Mr. Unity, Mr. Let's come together, Mr. Let's work together for the betterment of America, Mr. We're not at war with each other, we're at war with the virus. Joe Biden and his entire campaign, should they ever come to power, should they get inaugurated and become the next president and vice president of the United States, they are readying a flurry, 100 plus executive orders. 100 plus executive orders that he will sign the first day, although I doubt he has the energy to sign. I doubt he has the energy to sign like five on the first day, but that's the plan. He's going to come into office. He's going to sit down at the Resolute desk. He's going to prop, you know, his, his booted foot up on a cushion so that it, because, you know, he's, he broke his foot playing with the dog. And, and what he's going to do is he is going to start. Uh, he's going to start signing executive orders one after another, one, two, three. He's going to get a hundred of them out, a hundred of them out within the very first day. And it could be any, we don't even know what it is because executive orders are unilateral. Executive orders are the antithesis, uh, antithesis of what Joe Biden and his, his transition team are saying they're going to do. Joe Biden saying it's time to bring the country back together. I will work with Democrats and I will work with Republicans and together we will make sure that's BS. If he's signing 100 executive orders on the first day that he comes to office, that's not working together. That's the opposite of working together. That is wor that is that is basically uh, ruling with an iron fist. He's like, you know what? Forget the. I, we're probably going to lose the Senate. We that means we're going to be we're going to be like log jammed in the Senate. I'm just going to sign 100 executive orders my first day. I'm just going to try to break a record for executive orders in one day by a uh, by a fake president. And that's what he's going to do on day one. So that I mean, that's the whole thing. And I guarantee, I guarantee the majority of them are going to have to do with COVID-19. And where he can restrict people, he will restrict people. And where he can where he can squash your rights, he will squash your rights. It may just be on federal federal property. It may just be on parks. It may be federal buildings. Who knows? But if he can get away with it, he's going to do it. Because let's remember, it ain't even him. He's just putting the pen to the paper and he's signing away and then he's going to sign that. He's not, he can't even read these things anymore, I guarantee. But that's what's going to happen. And then, yes, of course, after he gets to, after he gets through the, the COVID-19 restrictions, after he gets through the health care, after he gets through all of that, he's going to come for your guns. He already said it. Remember, bingo. Bingo. That's what he said to, what was it, Anderson Cooper? Uh, you know, you said that if you're president, you're going to come and, and take everyone's AR-15s. Bingo. And Beto O'Rourke is going to be standing there right by his side, just like ready, ready to go. He's going to be like, I'm here, Joe. I'm here, Joe. What do you need, Joe? I'm going to be ready to go door to door. Door to door, Joe. That, Beto O'Rourke's going to go door to door and grab people's AR-15s from them. Beto O'Rourke, psychedelic warlord himself, is going to be like, hello, I'm Beto. Joe Biden's heavy. I'm here for your guns. I'm here for your guns, guys. Come on, give me your guns. And he'll probably have major, major. He's going to be like, <laughs> he's going to be sniffing out. Where's, I smell gunpowder. <laughs> I'm going to come get him. We're going to come get him. That's going to be, and you're right about that. If you, the, whoever left that open mic message, it's hundred percent on the agenda. And for the next four years, the only thing, the only thing that could possibly stand in the way of Joe Biden grabbing your guns, sending Beto O'Rourke door to door around the United States, like some kind of inverse Santa Claus, you know, Santa Claus goes to every house in the country and he leaves presents. Beto O'Rourke's going to go to every house in the country and take away your guns and take away your magazines and take away your bullets and take away your, your, your I don't know, stocks and whatever else. Yeah, because he's going to measure all your barrels and make sure they're not too big, whatever, whatever gun rights. He's, they're just going to do it. Executive orders, 100 of them ready to go on day one. And the only thing standing in the way is Georgia. The only thing standing in the way is the Senate. The only thing that protects you from Joe Biden and the Democrats stripping you one by one of your rights. One by one. Like you look at the Bill of Rights and you're like, these are great. They look at the Bill of Rights and they're like, all right, well, how do we undo these? It's, it's like their to-do list or their un-to-do list or to undo list, I guess would be, yeah, we'll figure it out eventually. It's their to undo list. And they're gonna start off with gun control. They're gonna start off with freedom of religion, which they've already, thanks to a lot of governors in California and whatnot, they've already started to, to undo that. Although New York state got slapped by the Supreme Court, thank God, that said you can't actually limit people's ability to get together and worship because we have something called the constitution and it's right there in the constitution, right there, ready to go. 
constitution. You can pray. You can worship. You can have a pistol. You can do whatever you want. So it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a battle. And it's not going to be a unified one. It's not going to be Democrats and Republicans working together. It's going to be Joe Biden signing executive orders, somebody suing him and taking it to the Supreme Court, which will then say it is unconstitutional. It's going to be Joe Biden and the whoever, whatever Democrats are left in the House of Representatives saying, here's some kind of really stringent, uh, stringent bill that we're putting forward that's going to cost a lot of money and strip away uh, the rights of several hundred million Americans all at the same time and then the senate's going to be like veto ixnay on the ill bay that takes away the ites ray they're going to be like we're done with it it's going to be back and forth back and forth the entire time unless of course for some reason the democrats win both of the seats in the senate unless of course the democrats somehow win both of those seats in georgia and they take the Senate. And with Kamala Harris, they get their 51 votes. And if that happens, well, then he won't need to sign 100 executive orders. He probably will still, but he won't need to because they'll just they'll just run rampant. They'll run roughshod over everything. And it won't matter. It won't matter if you're going to buy guns or not because they'll be able to come and take them away. They're going to control everything.